from One Twins Way in Minneapolis, welcome inside Target Field. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Minnesota Twins. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. Pretty decent win streak on the line in this one, Chris. This team has been doing all the little things right now. Being able to hit in situations and hit with runners in scoring position. When you look over the course of a long season, if you're going to be successful, it's doing the little things right. All right, just about set to go. And on the mound in this one, Anthony DiSclafani. Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. The throw to first, and Benintendi is out. To the right side. Whips it to Carolaw. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. And that's Ball. just foul. Jimenez measures six feet, four inches, hitting third in the lineup. And though usually in left field today, he's the designated hitter. The pitch. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Little chopper rolls foul. Runner at second, two down. Here in the finale of this four-game set. Some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps him to stay in the rhythm. So for him to be the DH, we'll see if he gets a routine together. Towards first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So one left for the White Sox. Back here with my pal Siggy and our starting pitcher here today, Dylan Cease. What do we need to know here about the right hand? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Byron Buxton leading things off and takes a strike. In the air, out towards right center. Deloach makes the grab, and there's one down. Now the number two hitter, Edouard Julien. Here's a strike. 0 oh 1. That's, that's a little low, bit low. On the ground at first. Fair ball. Well, his hot hitting continues. He's been getting great results lately. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. But now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And he'll one. Rudder takes off. That's it for a strike. Safe in second, and that was not close. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. Julian over at second, one down. And two another and ball. Runner. Runner goes again. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the right hander deals. And that's Down off cool. the inside edge. Three and two now. third headed for the plate he scores and they have the lead one nothing a couple of singles back to back maybe a little out front of the pitch
catch right there, but he squared it up pretty good, and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Here's Carlos Correa. Two hits for him in yesterday's game. Bounce to the right side. Over to Shoemake. Throws it away. And it's going to wind up out of play. Well, he hung in there at second to get the out, but the return the throw to first, first was way out of line. And I have to think the runner coming in the second had a part in that. You can't assume the double play, but because the batter moves up past first, he does get charged with the throwing error right there. Here's Alex Kirilov. Homered last night, added another hit as well. And a foul ball. And that's strike two. Oh, and Another 0 2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. One ball. And that one three. gets past the catcher. Tag safe. He's in the third of the wild pitch. Two outs and one in scoring position. That misses. The count now two and two. Wouldn't chase Double that count. time. Ryan Jeffers in the on-deck circle for the Twins. And that one is lifted in the air. Deloach coming on. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And that is the third out of the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a one ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Yoan Moncada in the box now. Oh, Two balls and a strike. That one fouled off. The other way. That's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Pitch by any means, down and away, right on the corner. Runner takes off, he cut on and miss. Oh, oh, and they got him. Not a fast runner on the base pass, so this kind of looks like it was a hit and run call from the dugout. Got to make contact some way or somehow because that guy's not going to be able to steal second base and be safe. Whips it to Kirillov. Too long. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Back-to-back -back singles. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the no, pitch. Just that's shot it through the infield. Braden Schumann one ball, at the plate no now. And that's inside. No that one misses. And that's ball two. Well, the offense really struggled last yeah. night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. Just oh, missed. Out. Love how this guy grinds out at bats. I mean, he's down there at the bottom of the lineup in the nine hole, right. but he's worked himself in a really good hitter's oh, count, trying to pick up a two out RBI. Kicks and fires. Out to short. Correa on the run, sends it over to first. Oh. In time. Got him. And that'll do. Bottom half of inning number two. And now the Twins catcher, Ryan Jeffers. That one to first. One up, one down. Now batting Max Kepler. Three for 11 in the series coming in. There's the strike. 0-1. Oh Next offering upstairs. Freddie Ferguson behind the dish calling the balls and strikes. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. One and two. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? 
I'd say the latter because pitchers got to pitch to her strengths regardless the hitters got to hit to his strength so you're aware of it but you have to just hunt for what you can handle Matt no one Walmer won. at the plate with two away swings through that one Swing and a miss, and a count is 0 and 2. He's in a great spot two. right here, ahead in the count 0 2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. And they'll do it again. Two out spaces empty. And that's Ball, too that's high. Up. Two outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. Way two, inside. Two. Gets out of the way. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third inning. Benintendi up here. And, and immediately one. pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Benintendi, the former first-round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. And he deals. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Corrals it. And there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle not where he needed it to be. One out. Base is empty. Strike two. <laughs> Battling here as he fouls it away. The 0-2. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Aloy Jimenez now doubled his first time on. Aloy Jimenez. Slice down the right side. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Softly hit the third, and he That's picks it up in foul territory. Rips that one to right. He's got it, and that is that. Nothing doing for the... Back in Minnesota, as we go to the last of the third. Here's Trevor Larnick. First That's pitch misses. 1-0. Fouled off. He was late. In two the and dirt. One. And a count two and one. Next That's offering is outside. One misses, so a leadoff walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Buxton yeah, swings through that one as he oh, comes to the plate for the second time today. Sliced hard but foul. Larnick on at first. Nobody out. Just the off the outside edge. Yeah, the count one and two. It's a good take. Pitch misses. Two. And the count's even at two. And ball. another ball. We got a full count. Three, two. Good plate All appearance there. Able to take the walk. 
And now, Edouard Julien. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. One and up. In the dirt, blocked. Well done behind the dish. Swings and misses. Yeah, the one count and one. even one and one. Well, these twins showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's right only two. given up one run, but the starter's pitch count one is two. starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Righty delivers. The punch hey. out there, and now one away. Well, I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then buried that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. The bat he hits it a little for him here. Smash that one through the infield with a knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Righty to the plate. Back to right. Squeezes it. Both runners tagging. He'll score on the sack fly. And they lead by two. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Here along yeah. at the plate now as he chases so after that one. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality one one. at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. Out towards right center field, drifts towards it. Brings it in. And that is the end. The wind of the pitch. And that's in there at the knees. Vaughn measures six feet even, 215 pounds, a former first-round pick back in 2019. And a pitch. Stretch him out. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. Here is Moncada. On the ground, right side, Julian. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Now it's the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. Flips the corner. Strike one. Just oh, missed. The Twins up by two. Top half of inning number four. On the ground, right side. He'll do it himself. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. And we're back. Bottom four. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. With the right hander back to work. Yeah. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Ooh, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. When you're doing that, you could have a really good day out there. Yeah. Around. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. She can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitter's got to look down in the zone. One and two. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Gets to it on the first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Max Kepler at the plate. And that one wrapped foul. Wind of the pitch. No, that's out. Base is empty, one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. In the air, right side. Fletcher gets under it, hauls it in for the out. 
Now it's the DH. Matt Walmer fly to left his first time. And that one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here in the finale of this four-game set. That misses one one. the zone. And now it's even one and one. Kicks and deals. Rip towards third. Fires across the diamond. And the inning is over. Back at target field. New inning getting started. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Out to short. Correa. Gets it to first. Gets the catcher by a step. Impressive backhand stop, but he had a little trouble getting rid of it and had to take that extra step, which could have forced him. But good job to make sure he got a good handle on it, and he got off a good, strong throw to still get the out. That one finds the zone, and that's strike two. Right side, Kirillov. And he takes it himself for the out. Braden Schumann steps to the plate for the White Sox. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. Right through there for a strike. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And he hits a ground ball right side. He takes it That's himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. We head to the bottom of the fifth at the play. Trevor Larnick. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. 0-1. And that's oh. downstairs and outside. One ball, one strike. Left hand batter waits. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count, one and two. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One down. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strike. And there's that one. Deep left field, and forget it. He sends it into the second deck, and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. That's a swing that'll boost the win probability for sure. typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay <laughs> Edouard Julien the next twin up to hit hard hit left side Got the out. Here's Royce Lewis. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Movement in the bullpen. Tanner Banks, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Tucson, a right hander, loosening up as well. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3-0. Back after this on the show. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Stepping in, the White Sox leadoff man, Andrew Benintendi. And a base hit right there. So a man on base to start the inning. 
Nicky Lopez up to the plate. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The throw to third. Not in time. He's safe. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Base hit, and a run comes in. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knob. Andrew Vaughn now. Andrew Vaughn. Ground ball left side. Fires to second for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. That's a much needed double play right there. Gives him a really good shot at minimizing any further damage in this inning. Moncada in the box lays off for ball one. With the tying run at the plate. And we're in the top half of the six. That misses the zone. Now 2-0. And a strike in there. Yeah, that's outside. Three balls and a strike. the mound that ends the oh. inning and they limit the damage Aloy Jimenez helps out the pale holes with this big swing it's now a 3-1 ball game you're watching Major League Baseball on the show back now for the bottom of the sixth and there's a new pitcher on the mound Tanner Banks Pretty That's tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Oh, yeah. Got to do his best to keep oh. the score right where it is. Correa up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. And a foul ball. Lays down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook oh, around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Number 67 getting ready to go. On the ground, right side. Lopez tosses the first. One away, bottom of the sixth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Brian Jeffers. Hit hard on the ground is short. In time to ball. He's out. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. And now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. In the air to left center, Larnick. Sizing this one up. Pulls it in for the out. And there's one away. Now, now Max Stassi. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first. Now two out. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. The 0-1. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The White Sox down by a pair here in the top half of inning number seven. Line drive. Makes the play and it's out number three. One. Back in Minnesota. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now for the Twins, Max Kepler. And first offering is fouled off. Banks goes six foot one. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a slur, and he works in a sinker. The pitch. And that's oh. off the inside edge. And a count one and two. Yeah. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now the D.H., Matt Wallmer. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. 
So a man aboard now with one away. Waste no time there. Couldn't get any air on. But he smoked Timeout. that ball back. Got the now got timing was just Timeout. perfect. Got a great run on it. And there's just Timeout. no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. On the ground could be two. There's one. On the ball. Two. So coming into the game now on defense, Willie Castro. He'll be out in left field. Swing and a bouncer towards first, but foul. On a line, base hit. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Now the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. There's a strike. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes it's Lewis. Goes to second. No, no, no. Safe there. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. And now Beloy Jimenez. And fouled off. Hey, a strikeout. And you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double no, play or get not. yourself a pop-up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle ground ball right side could be two quick feed to second for one and a run scores on the double play so because of the injury a replacement needed at third and on the pinch run for the white Sox, luis robert here's the cleanup the hitter for the Sox, andrew ball andrew ball on the ground to third. Base hit into the outfield. In to score is the runner from third. Back even. It's 3-3. Well done. Drives in the run. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. Yohan Moncada. With a chance to hit. First off, bring it, just misses. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. 1 1. Right side, hard hit. Tosses the first. That's out number three. Now into the game, Luis Robert. He'll be out in left field. Here's Byron Buxton. He's already homered here in this one. The pitch. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Number 67 getting loose out there. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Wouldn't chase that time. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a ball. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner, just a little bit off the edge. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. And here it comes. Stays alive. And the pitch. 
Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. That right there, not just the result, but right. also seen a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'd be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now, Edouard Julien. Yeah. Throw there. Safe. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. The pitch. And that one fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with this speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. In the air out to center. Coming on. Long run tracks it down. And there's one away. Now got third baseman. Here's the third baseman, Royce Lewis. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. That one is absolutely belted. And it's gone. Home run number five on the season. And that's how they take the lead. It's 5-3. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. When you're working with this kind of velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Now Correa. Up to hit. Swings through that one out in front that time. No and one. Bounce to the right. Lopez to first. And Correa retired. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Kirilov ball, in the box here. Bad. Let's that one go for a ball. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And that's the inning. But the Twins bring in two on the homer. Last chance coming up here for the White Sox. the closer Johan Duran well he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins so this game has gone to plan more or less let's see if he can wrap it up here Lewis and the leadoff oh. man retired here in the ninth Max Stassi steps to the plate for the White Sox and that's oh. down it away well Puts it in the air out towards left center. And it's caught for the out. Here's the center fielder, Zach Deloach. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That one carry. Bangs off the wall. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Pulls into third safely with a triple. 
Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. He absolutely ripped that ball out front and almost got it out of here, man. Just a really strong balance swing and a fraction of an inch different on the bat, and it is probably out of here. That one missed. Two on. He's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Electric stuff that results in a ton of strikeouts in a tough spot like this. That is a big time benefit. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Oh, as a hitter, when a guy like this comes into the game, you feel like oh, got it. that's the ball game. No letdown after they got to 10 wins. Came out today, pushed it to 11. The opposition looks disgusted from the other side of the field. They respect the talent that's over there, but they also think that this is a lucky team. Well, that's the thing about baseball. You've got to be good, and you've got to be lucky. Right now, they're clicking on all cylinders, and they're just going to ride it as long as it'll last. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.